Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a different kind of content on the channel. So today we're going to be looking at generative AI use cases. In this case we're going to be taking a look at stable diffusion running on an AMD Radeon 6900 XT. And we'll probably talk about kind of the pros and cons of this, how controversial image generation is or just AI in general, and how it could be very market disrupting. So if you guys like this sort of content, stay tuned. People have often asked, why am I advocating for such high amounts of video memory, high amounts of system memory, etc.? Well, one of those work cases or use cases would be machine learning, which is basically now everyone's using the AI buzzword. So AI this, AI that, you know, GPU is getting gobbled up for AI. What I have here is stable diffusion so those that are not familiar with stable diffusion this is essentially a way to use generative ai in the form of image generation whether that be text to image or image to image or even using it for image upscaling so it's a very nice tool this is the automatic 1111 web ui so it allows you to use a browser-based graphical user interface to basically generate images. Uh, what I have here is the web UI open and we are using an AMD Radeon 6900 XT. So if you guys want to see a kind of tutorial video on how to set this up, I guess I could put one together, although there are already some pretty decent guides on YouTube and on various uh, message boards and etc on how to set this up so it's not like it's super hard to do anymore and with Rockham support it's only going to get easier to do generative AI solutions without having to rely on things like CUDA or having to overpay for very expensive graphics cards so I kind of think this sort of is starting to trickle down more to the masses I would say so just to kind of give an example here so I have in the text prompt I've typed the word graphics card and I hit generate and it generated this image of a what it thinks is a graphics card. So based off of the inference and the image set that this stable diffusion model was trained on. So if we try generate, or we press generate here, it's going to generate another one. So here for some reason it made two graphics cards this time. So you can see that's kind of what it came up with. Let's try adding the word Radeon. So let's do Radeon graphics card and see what it does. You can see there, it came up with that. It's one of those things where if you're not familiar with AI art, AI art is kind of somewhat controversial right now because uh, what that means for artists and that sort of thing. However, depending on who you're talking to, it's seen as a positive and sometimes a negative. The negative side is, well, artists are gonna lose their jobs. The positive aspect of it is, well, no, because artists can use tools like Stable Diffusion, for example, to help improve their art or kind of give them some inspiration or some other ideas and that sort of thing. And it can speed up a lot of that incubation process of idea generation. So that's kind of the positive ideas. So you can see here, every time I click generate, so it's using the GPU to generate these images. So here's another one that it came up with. So I like how it automatically, when I say Radeon, graphics card, it doesn't outright say Radeon in these images, but it does kind of associate the color scheme of red, almost silver or white and black. So that's kind of like the AMD reference card, for example. So the 6900 XT does look kind of like this. So it's using that color scheme. This also looks very familiar to like a Sapphire, AIB card and Sapphire is a premier AMD brand. Let's try now GeForce. GeForce graphics card, see what it does. Okay, that's interesting. I like how it automatically associated the green color with GeForce graphics card. That's, that's, I find that amusing, mildly amusing. So here we go, G-E-F-C-E. -E. So you can see with a relatively high-end graphics card like the 6900 XT, we're able to crank out quite a few number of images. Let's type, let's try something more advanced. Let's do GeForce graphics card. GeForce two, two graphics cards. Radeon and GeForce. Let's see what it comes up with. Now I'm using positive prompts. I'm not using negative prompts. Negative prompts are basically trying to tell 
the algorithm to not do or not include negative aspects. So let's see. So let's do this here. Okay, for some reason it just still gave us one GPU. So what I'll do is, well, let's just try something simple then. Radeon graphics card. And now let's do something more advanced. So now let's try generating 20 images. Let's do a batch count of 20. And you can also increase or decrease the resolution. I'm doing 512 by 512 cube. The reason why this is kind of the de facto standard at this point is because if you go up in resolution, it's not that the graphics card can't do it. Uh, but you do need to have a certain amount of VRAM to do these sort of things, to generate these images. And the 6900 XT, to me at least, seems like it's excellent value for this sort of thing, like image generation, because it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, while also being relatively inexpensive compared to what you'd have to pay if you wanted to leverage CUDA, or if you wanted to have even higher amounts of VRAM. So that's why I kind of think this graphics card is pretty good. It also performs really well, as you can see here. So let's do a batch count of 20 and see how many images this can crank out all at once in quick succession. So we're gonna generate 20 different images. So you can see ETA, it's saying 40, 41 seconds. And it's just like, just zooming through this. It's just cranking throughout all these images. And this is where I think the controversy of AI art comes into play because when you have high-end hardware like a 6900 XT, you can crank out lots of images in quick succession and, you know, pick one of those or Photoshop one of those and there you go. So, interesting stuff. It's fascinating going down the AI rabbit hole and I don't know. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know your thoughts on generative AI. Do you think it's a, a bad thing, a good thing? So I completed all of that in under a minute. That's, that's a lot of images all at once. This is the grid, but each one of these individual images can be looked at here. So, so very interesting stuff. If you guys want to see more videos covering AI. I do plan to do some of this. We are going to also look at CUDA. So far I've done everything with looking at Rockham or Microsoft's Direct ML because I know that works on Radeon. And Radeon definitely seems to be a lot more cost effective because you can get high amounts of VRAM at a much lower price point than you can if you're on Nvidia. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.